Okay, so changing your logo area is very simple. So I give you two options to simply replace the text. And again, I'm just going to go to my quality switcher and turn draft mode on so I can work a little faster. And I'm just going to go down and we have uh, two areas here. We have the uh, element 3D number eight layer, which is hosting the title for black and I can just simply go to this text here and change it or next if you do have any type of logo and that you want to insert we can just go to our logo switcher quick and check off the title on so that's going to turn off that uh, title area and we're going to turn our logo on and we can just now go back down to our logo pre-comp here. So if I have a, again, a logo more in this spacing here versus let's say our square logo, uh, it's the same process. I'm just showing you uh, this version here. And I'm just gonna go into where I put it. Logo image, pop that right there. Let me just space it down a little bit. And if you needed a little bit more room in this uh, heading here, you can just go to composition settings and just uh, bump up the height a little bit. You know, not too much, but. Okay, so now once you got your logo set in, I'm gonna go back into uh, our comp area here. And all I'm gonna do is highlight this pre-comp where my logo's sitting. And I'm gonna go to layer. And I'm gonna go down to where it says auto trace. And just looking at the settings here, we wanna make sure that apply to new layer is checked off. And other than that, all should be good. We just hit okay. We go. I'm going to shut the mask off and you're going to see that what it does is just traces out the logo here for you, creates these, uh, and that's simply the difference between changing the uh, a logo that you may have already versus uh, simple text.